lied to, yep. she believed it, and then look what happened. Death already came over the earth. It's symbolic of Israel. Yep. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Man. Deuteronomy 4 and 5. That's it. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations. Yeah. yeah. In the sight in the sight of the nations, man. Because we're gonna rule over there when with perfect wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh yeah. Shemiao Shah. Yeah. How to coexist and live on a earth properly. Right? How to perpetuate life at the highest level in this dimension. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this is a great nation. Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Why? Because they're going to see that life is going to be perpetuated, man. Vegetation is going to thrive, man. Alright? You're not going to have the hollowing out of whole ecosystems like you do with this man rule. You know? You're going to have the, the, the upliftment of nature itself when we're in rulership, man. Okay? Yeah, all the animals are not going to be extinct. You're going to be able to eat food. You're going to be able to drink. You know, you're not going to have to worry about that. You're right. going to get rest, man. Even, even to you slaves, they're going to keep you slaves eating the right foods, too, man. Because we're going to want you to work. Yeah, you're not going to you know? be an unlawful guy. Yeah. Go get the work. Yeah. Uh, this is Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 47. It says, For it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life. And through this thing you shall prolong your days in the land, whither you go over Jordan to possess it. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah, law. Yeah, that's it. Where is that at, man? In the land of Canaan, man. In the Holy Land, man. When we're in the Holy Land, we're supposed to be keeping the law that you the Father. And look, and look, and look how ugly you are when you when you go away from those laws, man. Basically, the Lord turned His back on you because you turned your back on Him, and now look, it's evident. It's evident that your power is separated from you, man, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you refuse to keep His way. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 30. The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life. The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life. Right? Go ahead. And he that when it sows is wise. Uh-huh. And what is the tree of life, man? The tree of life is the keeping of the commandments, basically. When you want to get down to, to the nitty gritty, it's the Most High is going to put it in our minds how to live on this earth, man. And that's how we're going to prolong our lives on the, in the other side of the Jordan, man. All right? Because we're going to be put, pushing forth the true way of, of, of living. All right? And I, we go, I, we're playing scenes. We're we, 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 we going to put this truth out, man. If it falls on good ground, it's going to fall on good ground. We're not worried about if it's falling right. on yeah, uh, man. Yeah. wicked ground and somebody can come steal it away because yeah, you know yeah. what the scriptures say? The scriptures say the, my sheep know my voice mm -hmm. and another stranger they will not hear me. Yeah, I'm roughly paraphrasing yeah, but, it, but that's yeah, what it yeah, says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the, scripture, the scripture also says that Paul planted the follow water but the most high gave the increase. Most high didn't want it. Yeah. yeah. They get carried away by that. Yeah. Yeah. A Hamite. I don't give a damn. A random Hamite could come just... <laughs> Go ahead. Anybody listening to a Hamite 2014, you, you go die. Go ahead, huh? Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of the understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah, man. And our people have wandered out of the way of understanding. That's why they're in a state of death all across the world. And it seems like they can't get out of it. The only way that we're going to get out of it is for the Lord to come back like we were reading in Second Ezra, the second chapter. And to put crowns on our heads, man. And to put down this wicked man, this wicked uh, nation that's ruling the earth. All right? That's why the scripture said that we were going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Okay? Go ahead and read it, Oz. First Corinthians 15 and uh, 52. Oh, I'll start at 51. Uh -huh. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Yeah, all of us is not going to die, but we're going to be changed. Go ahead. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, uh -huh. okay. at the last trump. Uh -huh. The last trump, man. When 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 this 
places uh, uh, is the transition from this place going out into a new kingdom, a new world being ushered in. Go ahead. Right. Uh, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, uh -huh. and this mortal must put on immortality. Uh -huh. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, this shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Yeah, death is gonna be swallowed up in victory, man. Because we gonna, we gonna uh, uh, issue forth with the knowledge of the tree of life, man. That's right. It's gonna be placed inside of us. That's right. All right. The law is basically gonna right. cleanse the whole planet Earth. Man. The law itself being put in effect is gonna clean the Earth. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right, man. That's right. how we gonna be able to, to just to, to be, yep. to exist. Yeah. Like that name, your house. Yep. He is, he exists, man. Because we gonna have a tree of life, which enable us to, to, to know how to live, man. Right. It's a, it's a little bit more to this, too. Oh, uh, verse 55. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. And the strength of sin is the law, man. Why? Because it was written down on tablets of stone that men couldn't keep, man. So it's going to have to be imprinted inside of us. That's going to be our mark. Our mark is going to be the law written in our minds and in our hearts, engraving within us to, to live and to do. All right? That's the whole point of the Lord dying on the cross, was to for us to... to, to that's the second covenant. That's the new covenant. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 31 and 31. Uh -huh. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Uh -huh. He's going to make a new covenant with the house of Israel. And with the house of Judah. And that's why these people, they want to read this in Hebrews and try to say that the new covenant is for the whole world. That comes from the book of Jeremiah, man. And it's specifically uh, targeted at Israel. Read it again. It says, the Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Yeah, and you two, you idiots like Isaiah that want to, and, and, and Mike the Hamite that want to come on our page asking about was, was um, Paul Israelite, was Titus Israelite, was Timothy Israelite. Yes, nigger. Yes, nigger. They were Israelites. Okay, nigger? Now leave. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, it says that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand To bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break uh -huh. Although I was not husband until what, I was what, 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 what covenant did we broke? We, we broke the covenant that was, uh, uh, that was really pushed out uh, since the time of Adam man. All right The law statutes and commandments, go ahead Oh, uh, see, it says, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel uh -huh. after those days, said the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts. I will put my law in their inward parts, read. And write it in their hearts. And I will write it in their hearts. Go ahead. And will be their God. Uh huh. And they shall be my people. Uh huh. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor. They don't. You don't have to. You won't have to go to the Levites anymore to get the judgment of uh, of how to uh, do something because you're gonna have it written on your in your inward parts. All right. Your mind is gonna be completely open to how to do it. Perfectly. That's right. What's beautiful about it is what we'll let you know it's not for the other nations. When you read the prophecies about how to in the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna have to force these other nations to come up and keep our laws. That's right. Yeah. So that lets you know that it's not gonna be in them. That they aren't given this blessing. Now they are gonna be blessed because they're gonna be on the planet Earth. Well, Esau, he's gonna be destroyed. Let's talk about after they serve their slavery, they they eventually gonna be blessed. Because they're going to be living in the kingdom of heaven. But they're not going to be blessed with the law, statutes, commandments written on their heart as the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be all right. You know, they're going to be under their tree. We're going, they're going to have these certain horses. That's all in the scriptures. But they still got to serve their place. Yeah, they're going to be in the pit. Uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 36, starting at 23. And I'll sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord God, 
when I when I shall be sanctified in in you before their eyes, for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries. We're going to be gathered from all. This is more proof that it's only dealing with the nation of Israel. We're going to be gathered from the multitude of the heathen nations. And because we're going to rise up with power, it's going to be shown uh, to the other nations that he's dealing with this group of people and this group of people only. Go ahead. Go ahead, read. For I, for, for I will take you from among all the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Uh -huh. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you uh -huh. and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Well, I clean you. What is that water? That water is, is the water of the word of the Heavenly Father, man. All right? The real baptism. The real baptism, okay? Not being dunked in the Jordan River, all right? That's not what this talking about. The next couple verses go right along with this reading in Jeremiah. Go ahead. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put in you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. You're going to give us a heart of flesh, man, a heart of life. Go ahead. Because they were written on stone. Uh-huh. That, that represents how uh, the, exactly, the first man. covenant, man. Exactly right. The fleshly right. heart is mean we're going to do it by nature, man. Yeah. It's going to be in us. And I will put my spirit within you and, and cause you to walk in my judgments and do them. And you shall dwell in the land that I give to, gave to your fathers. And you shall be my people and I will be your power. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're going to have the law, the law, statutes, and commandments ingrained in our uh, minds and hearts, man. We're going to live righteously. Yeah. You ain't going to have to battle with the flesh. 